Thank you, Mr. Assistant President. Um, it's an honour and feels quite appropriate to rise and give what feels like my first official speech uh, to the House after my inaugural last night um, and to speak about one of our essential workers here in New South Wales. Uh, I met MJ uh, last week as part of a union delegation to this place. MJ is a United Services Union delegate and a New South Wales ambulance emergency call taker. MJ is probably someone you never want to have to call upon. She's one of the people at the other end of the line when you call triple zero. However, if you do need to call, she is exactly the sort of person you want to be on the other end of the line. She is calm, you can hear the kindness and the empathy in her voice as she speaks, and she is experienced in giving firm and direct instructions. As someone that has called triple zero myself, I can tell you now, even as a trained health professional, you experience adrenaline and the stress of the situation. And if it's a family member, well, forget it. All your experience goes out the door and is replaced by raw emotion and fear. MJ's job can be indescribably challenging. The roulette of phone calls that enter the call centre are, and to use her words here, motor vehicle accidents, heart attacks, strokes, babies in too much of a hurry to be born, people who don't wake up one morning, people who fall sustaining serious head injuries, suicides of the most horrifying and confronting scenes, patients bleeding, patients vomiting, patients not breathing, small children with burns and scalds, those dealing with dementia and terminal illnesses, people who so desperately want to live and people who so desperately want to die. Workers like MJ are the lowest paid in the call centre. Trainees have just six weeks of training before they are on the other end of the phones. Their role is currently classed as administrative, which does not acknowledge the true breadth and scope of the work people like MJ do. I want to personally thank MJ for sharing her story with members in this place and the other place, for her role, an uh, important role as a United Services Union delegate, and for the essential work she does every day for the people in this state. Workers like MJ are invaluable. I am proud to be part of a government that has taken immediate and deliberate steps to engage with unions regarding fair pay and conditions and that will unapologetically continue to do so.